So I can't be here for the two classes on October 14th and 15th. So I'm going to try to do a five minute intro to uh, operation amplifiers. And this is on page 176. It's item 5.2 on your book. And it's really just the introduction. And op amps are used to do math, basically. So we're going to keep doing a lot of math like we've been doing so far in this course. And they are probably the first time that we are studying an active um, circuit that in principle amplifies voltage. So they are sold as cots. These are commercial off-the-shelf um, chips and you guys already did ECP1 with them. And they have several footprints. A footprint is the package in which they come and I'd like you to look it up what these all mean. It's a, an easy Google search. And now to make an op amp work, we need to power it with plus and minus VCC. This is rail to rail. And then it's going to spit out a voltage so long as we have something on the input. Actually, even if we don't have anything. but. This is my positive input here and my negative input here. And this plus and this minus mean that the positive and negative are the inputs. This plus VCC and minus VCC are the power. So to power your op amp, I hope everybody already saw this. Um, you put, for example, 5 volts and minus 5 volts or 5 volts and 0. And the signal that you're putting in, this is the signal that's getting amplified. As I drew here, this is the basic drawing of an op amp. In general, we're going to draw it as a um, triangle. And uh, this is the output signal here. Usually, we would hook up a load to it. For example, a resistor that we're interested in amplifying this difference in voltage to uh, make a current go through the load resistor. And now we're going to see the equivalent circuit in the next video.